very overs and unders for basketball, all right? You know, I just did the overs and unders for football. If you've not seen that video, it's a video just before this one. So you're just going to check the video before this and click on it. Uh, possibly, I'll leave the link in the description. That's if it's necessary. All right, so I, I just want to show you a, a quick tip on um, basketball overs and unders. That I really like this tip a lot. I remember I said um, if we hit 50 likes in 24 hours, we're going to get the video. But regardless, I'm not just going to bother about that. I'm just going to go ahead and record the video. Whether or not we hit the 50 likes, I'm going to drop it. All right, so that's where we're going. Next up, basketball. So we're going to do a random pick. Any any league, any game, any whatever, so we can analyze on it together. Like you already know on this channel, I don't do pre-recording. I try my best to make everything that I'm showing you as genuine as possible. So I don't think uh, maybe I have to cook it up to meet my whatever I want to say to make it legit. No, it's just live and direct. And at the end of the day, you can go cross-check and see if it actually resulted, you know, kind of in a way. There are some videos I've done on this channel. Eh? After doing the video, the example for the game I used actually went sideways crazy. <laughs> and so a person will be like, well, it went over, it went under. And said, mm, okay, that's it. We're just doing a random pick right now. Let's just stop. Okay, Poland, Liga 1. I'll be one Liga, whatever it is. So we're going to pick the first game. All right, so now we're here. Now we're done at this point. Let's come over to Spotty. I want to show you Poland Liga 1. We picked a game. I can't really remember the game we picked, so I'll, I'll go back and check. But first of all, let's make sure we pick the league. All right, so let me go ahead and click on A to Z right there and click on basketball. And then we'll go to Poland, all right? Now, for those of you who may want to click away and think, well, I've gotten all the strategies in basketball, don't worry. At the end of this video, if you don't fancy this strategy I'm going to show you of getting your overs and unders, you can go ahead and... And I don't know, just put a comment there and say something so I know that, well, this video wasn't worthy. But at the end of this video, you see it's worth it and incredible, just like some of my other incredible videos. I want you to give me a like, give me a shout out, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, give me a, 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 a whatever. Just give me a gift. Give me give me money. I want more money. I want, I want, I want plenty of money. Okay. So give me anything that you can give me. All right. But let's just go ahead quickly. Let's click on display here. So you can see what I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you something on um, one expert, but making reference to Sporty. So we got all the games on Poland One Liga. So let's go back to their um, Plasco and find out the names. I can see the names right here. Random. Uh, these are the names right here. So I just go back here and check on them. Okay, it's actually the first game right there. All right. So we are here now. I want to take a look. While we're here, let me just go basketball and i want to make sure i'm on pre-games then go select poland let's just scroll slowly so i don't mess it up you no know, picking games on one expert it's not very easy one liga and that's the game right here all right we are here on one expert at the same time we are here on sporty baby let me just go back there's something i want to show you from here let's come back here all right so let's scroll up slowly let's scroll up slowly Still, we get to the general total overs and unders. As you can see right here, this is something about uh, Spotty that I don't really like, or we say I'm supposed to like, is the fact that the lines for overs and unders are so few. They are very few. We can count this is basically one, two, three, four, five, just five lines for overs and unders. But if you check on one expert, we are going to do get there in a minute. You see, one expert has even way more lines over there. But this is what we came to do. Taking a look at this right here, 152 overs and unders. There's a place where it's supposed to be, just that 152. I'm trying to find it just in a bit. All right, here it goes. Okay, I think it's not 152, now it's 150. So let me just double check that in a minute. All right, it's 152 right here, and it's 150 right there. Let me just go over here. So I'm going to be able to find out if they are similar here on Spotty at the same time on one expert. So let's just go find out. Taking a look at the odds first. Don't don't forget 150 as this odd. Well, 152 as 1.8 thereabout. 
So let's come over to 1x and find out. Okay, they gave us 153 here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is what I wanted to show you. These are the base lines for what they expect the games to arrive at. Either it's going to pass this number or it's going to go under this number. It's the 50-50 option. All right, so our 50-50 option for 1x bet is 153, while the 50-50 option at, um, at Spotsy is at 152 as you can see from the 1.86 and 1.87 that's where you know the midpoint or the i don't know how to say but you get the point all right so we now know it's 152 or let's just go with 153 why do we need these numbers these are the numbers we want to analyze with these are the numbers we want to take as our base point is that the game is going to go over these numbers or it's going to go under these numbers all right so we're not interested in which ones now it is we just want to go blank and go and make use these numbers for our reference so next thing is we switch over to flash score now we're on flash score we'll come over to head to head now the first rule number one is look for games the number of games right here that have gone over 153 at least we're expecting to get three games that have gone over 153 all right for the home game and the last five games like this for the home team rather the home team not the home game the home team we're going to look for games that they've been involved in the last five games the ones that have gone over 153 and we'll do the same for the away team as well so let's just start the first one right here, as we can see, it's gone over 153. As a matter of fact, oh, this is 177, right? So we have one. We have one. Um, this one right here is 162. We have two. This one right here is one, 160. Is this 160 or one? Wait. This is 158.3. All right. So this is 150. So we have right here, we have four. Four games for the home team that they've been involved in that have also gone over 153. Now, rule number two. While you be doing that, finding out for the home team how many games they've been involved in for over 153 or any over that you want to check, you want to make sure you check on how much have they contributed towards getting these overs and unders. You understand? By checking what their point score is in those games in this case it has 91 or rather has 94 and here it has 79 79 is way more than half of 153 so this is a good one too and it had 76 this is just about one half of 152 so we can let it fly and we have 79 and we have right here 86 so contributing to 152 so we have a points advantage already for home team so let's see if the away team also performs this very well too so we are looking at a good average right now we are looking at a very good over game so let's go up and just kill my brush let's go up and find out for the away team my away team right here this is 148 under so we don't want under it's 148 and this is on there again one this is 134 whoa and even after over time, this is not still up to 150. This is 146. And right here is 152. They've all gone under. All of them have gone under. And this right here has gone 170. This is 142. Whoa, all five of them have gone under. This is going to be very, very, very interesting, right? All right, so how often have they performed? Is it the team they're playing against during their points down or this? So let's just find that out too. So we can see right here, they hit 73, which is not even close to half of it. And they hit 64 here. They hit 71 here. I'm recording now. A couple of distractions, if you notice from the background already. So uh, right here, we saw that this one didn't contribute much to 153. Obviously, they contribute to their scoring because they don't even hit 153 at all and this one right here is so low all right we check that even with overtime this is 71 not even close to close to getting to, i don't even know what to say anymore this is 80 well this is very very fair and while right here we have 67 so only just this 80 they have pushed up a bit so from what you can see right now the home team is way 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 favorite to win the game all right so Let's go ahead and check on their head-to-head -head and see if they have played before and how they've performed. All right, so they've only played once. 
and the home team, which happened to be the away team while they played, actually hit them for 91. Mm, what a game. So, is it going to be home? Uh, rather, is it going to be over or under? Or is it going to be something else? All right. So, what's it going to be? Let's decide. We can see right now, they actually hit one. See right now, they actually hit one. You can see, right? They actually hit one, 152 in the game they played, as in the head-to-head, -head, which is slightly under. Now, if... Take a look at this very well, all right? Let me just show you something. If whatever point that this home team actually gets is not from 90 upwards, the game has a tendency to fall under, all right? If, now follow me, if the home team do not score from 90 points, the game has a tendency to go under, which means we have 94 here, yeah, which is a good one, so if, home team hits 94 is going over we have oh, that's one then we have 79 we have 82 which is now up to 90 79 which is now up to 90 and 86 which is very close to 90 but we may not even want to consider that but if you look at it very well the chances of falling under because of the performance of the away team is very very high you see the way we're analyzing it i'm having how to talk as I mean, I was doing this on my own. I won't have to take this much time to make a decision. But right now, we are doing it together. So I have to say some things that will put you in the right mood, in the right frame of, frame of mind and the understanding for you to know why we pick our games. All right. So as it is, home team is winning and we are expecting the home team to hit between 80 points and 90 points. All right. So what I'll suggest we pick in a case like this is individual total, meaning that we have to take either for the home team or we take for the away team. In this case, I don't know what you may want to pick, but for me, I'll go for the home team to score an over, depending on the lines that we are given. So now at this point, let's go over and find out what kind of lines we are given on Sporty Bets. So for the home team, we have been given over 80. Whoa, I'm, I'm beginning to like this. Wow, over 80 at 1.72 and over 82 at two points. Did I say two points? At two odds. Whoa. I think I like it because I could easily go for over 82 at two odds because there's a huge chance it's going to play. And then uh, you can clearly see that there's a huge chance it's going to play. And then what are they giving for the away? 70. 71 72 the away even have a high tendency that is going to play under 72 here but if you feel you're still a bit scared this is where one expert comes in so we're going to come over to one expert all right tap on the game and look for the lower lines so let's just let it load up all right man go ahead and hit the smash that like button no because i know you're getting value from what you're seeing like crazy values okay so what we're going to do is just scroll all the way up and click on total. And you see, like I told you, it has even lower lines for one over 139. Some persons, not the odds are small though. Just take a look at the odds right here. The odds are usually small. Now some persons are going to think, well, the odds are small. So it's a fair chance this is going to play. Look guys, if for example, the home team, like we saw on Spotty, giving over 80. Now let's assume the home team eat 82. And it's going to beat the away team by around 15 points. You're looking at 82.65. That's about one. That's about 145. There about what? Well, it's still a good one. <laughs> it's still a good one. That was just a rough guess, all right? Is it a good one? I think this this is kind of a good game. But let's go and see the lines that we've been given. So individual tutorials, right? Yeah, individual totals. We already know what the totals for. So we go to individual total one, which is the home team. We can see we have even 72 there. So if we want to take a very fair odd, so we're going to scroll all the way to 70, there about 78. And this is 1.5. And we pick it, home team to win with 79 points in the game. This is a very, very good offer if you ask me. So I know some people are going to call me out if this does not play, but this is my personal pick for the total for over and under 
home team or whatever, whatever it is going to be, all right? I would have really loved to go ahead and do more examples. But what I want you guys to do is this. Now, let me just quickly do a recap, all right? So what you simply do is this. When we were trying to find out the number of games that wins over our, our, our standard points or our midpoints where it should go over or where it should go under, our 153, all right? We saw a couple of games for the home team, all right? Let me just quickly make sure my pen is there. We saw a couple of games for the home team. So and we didn't see that much games for the away team, which means that the away team have a tendency to make other teams call less by not allowing them to play the Africa. I'm just making a random analysis. So you want to be very careful, all right? So you're not going to tell me that the away team actually lost four of their last five games. All right, it lost four of their last five games, and yet none of this game is 18-160. None. And these teams are better than them, but yet they lose. So you should be careful. All right. You should be very careful why I just decided to go ahead and pick the home team to score exuberantly. I don't know if you get the idea. So these are some of the factors that you want to put in. It takes a lot of work though. You want to put in before you make your final decision and say, yes, you're picking the home team to score over a certain number. Or you're picking the away team to score under a certain number. That's just it. So you want more lines, you want safer lines, you go to one expert and pick your games. You want to go hard, you go to sporty bets and pick your games. And make sure you use this app, Flash Score, because it makes it very, very easy. No distractions for you to just look at what you're looking at and you have your results right in front of you. You see, we don't stretch much to 10 games simply because we want as recent as possible and the form is still there within the five games so stretching as much as 10 games is not actually recommended by me so i go with the last five games like on sofa score they go averaging 10 games and these averages will give you distractions hospital will also give you distraction with tips and ideas but right here there are no distractions just statistics plain point blank statistics if you want to go ahead to dig more you can go on individual games if i tap on this one for example you can go on individual games and check out how they perform in all the quarters in previous games so it's that easy for you to use and see details right here on this app so at this point very well i would say it's been a wonderful time with you guys once again on this channel i i, I don't really want to go right now I, I want to talk more i want to i want to say a lot of things I want to discuss with you guys, well, gotta go, gotta call it a day. Hopefully, I'm able to make another video that's going to be disinformative and entertaining. And I really don't want to go, but let me just stop it. Thank you, guys. I love you. One love. Peace.